It's this week's recommended Blender downloads. Toasty! Let's go. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. It's came to that time of the week again where I scour the internet looking for the best downloads for your downloading pleasure. As always, please support third party developers and artists. Now I'm going to do something I usually don't do and I'm going to beg for likes, subscribes, shares, all that crap. I hate doing it, but because I put external links on the website, YouTube is not a big fan of it. But anyway, let's quickly kick this off with GitHub. Now GitHub is an absolutely fantastic resource when it comes to Blender downloads. And this is the autosave automatically save.blend.png and readme.txt files when rendering. Now I don't know if it's a good idea to save when you're rendering, but hey, this add-on provides an easy way to document and preserve a project's progress over time, so it could be quite a handy workflow tool to be honest. Basically it's a nice saving tool. All the links in the description down below, this is available for free, like most of the products that I recommend every single week. Oh, I'm working hard here, I'm trying to sell it, I'm trying to sell it. Next one up over on GitHub is a really nice bunch of workflow tools. Highly recommend you do check this one out to be honest and I'll give you a quick overview. You have the active camera menu, so essentially it gives you a menu for all your active camera. Collection visibility, quick switching between object type visibilities and collection. And the next one up is inactive shading, you have a nice lock unlock script as well, you have an outline on menu entries, <laughs> precision scaler, Really is a nice bunch of tools. And just kind of finishing it up with GitHub, this is another bunch of add-ons. This is a free add-on collection for Blender, which is extended over time as production calls for creation of new tools. And I find this a lot with the people on GitHub. They generally make products for themselves, and they generally are the best ones. Now, pick, walk, navigate through a hierarchy of objects or bones or amateur. You place reflection, and the one that I was interested in is a tool shelf. Save scripts as a button and organise them as a group for easy access. That might be worth checking out. Now, our favourite resource is really Gumroad. There is a whole bunch of goodies here. Select collection adds a toggle to the Blender UI. When you enable it, it double left click selects the entire collection. So if you select an object that's inside of a collection, it should in theory select all of the collection. Now, does it work with collections inside of collections? Stuff like this, I'm not entirely sure. I don't even think the developer is to be honest. But it might be worth having a quick look. I might write something about that because I might be able to fix that. Next one up is from Pixel Asteroid. Moon Free Procedural Shader for Blender 2.8. Now this was available for free last week and it's now went up to pound. So it's definitely worth watching these videos because you generally get a nice bargain. And moving over, you have the free Miss Minutes Blender 3.8 Alpha Character Rig. A really nice character rig to be honest. If you're a big fan of Loki, might be worth having a swatch at this. Next one up is the Procedural Planet for Blender and this is Chevrock. Uh, it's nice to see stuff other than geometry nodes, so nice download, thank you very much. And late as usual, you have the geometry nodes Cybercube Disintegration, and I've seen this effect over on Twitter. It's pretty good to be honest, uh, definitely worth kind of breaking down the scene and having a look at it. So the next one up is a little bit different to be honest, it does work in Blender, there is a Blender file I believe. Free 2K Explosions VFX Assets. Now it's always good just to kind of throw these on the scene if you ever needed it. Now this is personally one of my favourite artists, Material Pack Stylize from Julio, fantastic and as you can see here we have a whole bunch of materials, definitely worth just throwing three bucks just to get the S bar and all the materials, but these are available for free. Next one up is from Louis Dumont and you have the Blender VHS Shader, an animated VHS shader group for Blender that works in EVE and Cycle, so thank you very much, it gives that, that old school 90s look. 80s look really, that's when VHS really did kind of take off. <sighs> I'm getting old, I'm getting old. And moving over to Ami Deep, I think he's doing one plugin a week at the moment. Transfer Images Free Blender Add on. Transfer Images is a free blender add on that allows you to transfer images from one UV map to another in just a few clicks. So, again, another workflow tool. Definitely worth having a quick look and also keep in mind look at other people's profiles because they generally have more than one product. And I may have covered this last week, but I think it received a very small update. Dynamic Sky Texture for Blender 2.93, a real time sky shader that works in even cycles, with sun lamp drivers for realistic lighting. Really nice tool, actually, to be honest. Definitely worth checking out, and you get some really nice renders. And moving over to my commercial add on of the week, it's the FX nodes for Blender add on. Now, I did cover the text nodes separately, it's pretty cool, to be honest. But during Blender Royale, I noticed a lot of artists actually using this. And it looked pretty damn good to be honest. Now, there is an affiliation link if you want to check it out, by all means, it's up to yourself. But 
definitely worth having a quick swatch. And of course, we're going to quickly finish it up with our Sketchfab download of the week. A heap of construction, old debris, bricks. Now, there is some real goodies here, but I think that's pretty good. I think if you threw that in the back of a scene, it might look pretty epic. And of course, we always finish with a free PBR material and an HDRI. The free PBR material this week is a Red Bricks 04. It is over on Polyhaven. And again, with the HDRI, you have the Studio Small 08. And this is just released three days ago. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, that is an ambulance in the background, I'm going to go, have a nice weekend, you know what to do, take care.